All right, so in this video, I'm gonna share the best things to do in a lucid dream, the most interesting things. Stay around and watch this video. There'll be some interesting things you've probably not heard of in this video. Get lucid, by the way, for using whatever technique you want and fly across mountains. Flying across mountains is beautiful. It's a very inspiring way of just using your power and experiencing the mountains. And it's, it's so fun to just fly across a mountainscape and look down and it's just, beautiful. Number two, teleport to new worlds. This is one of the f most fun things you can do in a lucid dream and it's a very interesting way of traveling around the lucid dreaming world. You don't have to walk or run, you can just teleport. Just imagine the place that you want to go to, click your fingers and then you'll be there. It's all about expectation. Number three, the third best thing to do in a lucid dream is time travel. You can do this literally just by thinking about it. Imagine the time that you want to experience, click your fingers and you'll be there. Number four, meet famous celebrities. You can meet anyone in a lucid dream. It can be Albert Einstein, it can be Miley Cyrus, literally anybody you want to meet, alive or dead, you just click your fingers or walk through a door, imagine they'll be on the other other side of the door and just like that, they'll be there. Number five, I would actually give you a sort of a warning before you try this, but try and convince another lucid dreaming character that they are in a lucid dream. And what you'll find when you do this is that they will freak out. They will not know what to do. They'll The, the reaction they'll have is completely unpredictable, but just go up to a character and just try and have a conversation with them, convince them they're in a lucid dream and just see what they do. Number six, talk to long lost relatives or friends. This is a good way if you've lost contact with someone or if, for example, they've passed away. It's a good way of getting back in contact with them and just having that experience with them. And it feels very real. Very good thing, interesting thing to do in a lucid dream. Number seven, practice a job interview. The lucid dreaming world is a perfect place to practice things that would otherwise be annoying or difficult or impossible to practice. Uh, you know, in the real world, with no consequences. The benefit is that if you practice a job interview, you will genuinely get the confidence that you would have got if you had really gone to a job interview. Number eight, in the same way, face your fears. If there's something you're scared of, for example dogs, go and experience it in a lucid dream and you'll find that the fear slowly dissolves in your waking life and you actually become less afraid of that thing just because you've exposed yourself to it in a safe environment like a lucid dream. Number nine, star in a movie. If you've always wanted to be a movie star, just go up to a lucid dreaming movie or just you know manifest one and then become the movie star. Number 10, create lucid dreaming music. This is a perfect way to be creative and unleash your creative side. Pick up an instrument that you've never played and just you'll be able to play it in a lucid dream. Your mind will make you be able to play the instrument. It's interesting to see what you come up with. Number 11, listen to lucid dreaming music. Different sounds and ambient music in lucid dreams sound incredible to your mind because it, everything is amplified. The best parts of the music and the experiences and how it makes you feel are all amplified massively in a lucid dream. Number 12, eat dream food. One of the most incredible pleasurable experiences to have in a lucid dream is to eat lucid dreaming food. The best foods are the ones that you typically would indulge in in waking life. Things like pizza, chocolate, cake, crisps. The things where when you have them in waking life you just get that sense of indulgence and pleasure and just letting yourself go and experiencing the food. So pizza is an especially good example of this. So go and find a dream pizza and just take a bite out of it. You'll feel that incredible sensation. Everything good about the food will be amplified. Anything bad about it will be taken away because your mind wants you to feel the experience. And number 13, become an animal. A lucid dreaming uh, world, the lucid dream I should say, is a perfect place to experience things that you otherwise would not be able to experience. Things that are just so hard to imagine that only your subconscious mind could possibly let you experience them. So just imagine an animal that you want to become, for example an ant or a pigeon or something, and just expect that you'll become that animal, take a step forward and just step into the expectation of what would it feel like to be a pigeon for example. All right, and then just step forward and tell yourself, as I step forward, I'll become the pigeon. Become the pigeon, <laughs> I believe in you guys. So, uh, that's it for this video, guys. If you would like to learn the full list of 40 things to do in a lucid dream, uh, there's actually probably more than 40 now, go to my website, howtolucid.com. There'll be a link in the description to this article in particular. I do actually also have a book telling you 100 things to do in a lucid dream, 100 different unique ideas and explaining in detail how to do each one. It's a Kindle book, it's available on Amazon, it's very cheap, um, but it's also a very interesting, fun read. It is available also as a paperback, so there'll be a link to that in the description. Uh, you can also go and check out my book, Lucid Superpowers, 
which there'll be a link to in the description if you want to learn how to learn advanced superpowers like flight, telekinesis, all sorts of mind related things that you can have a lot of fun with. It explains in very, very great detail how to learn those skills as well as a bunch of other advanced lucid dreaming hacks and tips. So go and check that out, the link is in the description. And if you've got this far, leave a comment letting me know the most unusual thing you've done in a lucid dream. I really would like to know. I'll upvote all, or I'll pin the best one, the most interesting one. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various lucid dreaming products, articles, techniques, and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.